Well, hello everyone and welcome back. Now, I hope you're all well. If you remember, we are researching battery optimization here. We got our little freezer done. Her top looks horrendous. Look at the state of it. You're doing great though, Samantha. I appreciate you. And yeah, we got our big freezer done, didn't we? Looks awesome here. And if you remember, there has been an update a couple of days ago, a day or two ago from me recording. So I was a little bit behind. I pre-recorded. But yeah, as you can see, the fuel requirements have changed and you can now contact different types of ships here to sell contact a smuggler's ship i'm not sure i'm gonna do this because i don't know what we can do but these small but fast ships are a common sight in the outer worlds they have limited cash and cargo and are known to trade some uncommon resources hides feathers insects and human meat sometimes they offer great deals under the counter uh feathers insect and human meat now i'm just looking through so terran defense fleet uh, spare weapons and armor, while, while the crew is always interested in relaxation goods and emergency rations. Relaxation goods, we're going to seek contact because we've got a whole lot of wine to sell, you know. Let's do that. But I hope you're all well, guys. Welcome back. Now, the plan for today is obviously to get all this tidied out a little bit. I'm tempted mm, to destroy these two here and move it across. Now, I want to do that to make it look a little bit better, you know. Sora hits physical six, though, there. Vicente, bless him. Look at him go. He's so injured. Oh, man, it's good. But, yeah, I'm still still loving it. It's still great. We've got the power and everything is looking dandy. I do think that is perfect for how we want it. So that is looking good. Now, let's check in on some of this stuff. So we do have the hydroponic rack here. So we might give that a test out at some point as well. But I'm not too worried at the moment. Look at him go. Taking you half a day to get there, mate. Xander playing the didgeridoo as well. But yeah, thank you for the love as always, guys. I do appreciate you. We are getting ever so closer to the console release, you know. But here we go. Here's the battleship here. So let's see. Please. Look at this. Pulse Rifle 2.0 for only 8k. A bit cheap. Oh my god. Here we go. Look at this. We'll get all the trade goods in. Simulating tees. Yes, we'll get, I don't know, let's, I don't know if there's like a limit, you know, uh, these guys kind of like it, so I'll save a little bit for my guys, they like the tea as well, but we will be selling some up, I think they've reduced the prices too, but wine is going to be where we make the money here, look, oh, we've taken all their money, <laughs> we've taken all their money, uh, I might get 2.0 in then, Can we do it, I think, uh, who needs a jacket? The reason why I want to is because we've just got loads. You know what I mean? So we may as well, is what I'm thinking. Um, Yeah. We've literally taken all their money here. I'm going to grab one of these pulse rifles in, and then I'm going to sell the rest of the wine here. Um, What we're going to need to do... Oh, you know what? I have a plan. I'm going to get 50 more fuel in. Because we're going to get one of these guys straight back down as well after we've sold them all their goods here. Another 84k. 100% be taking that deal right here. So that's going to make it kind of easy to spam the farms, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm going to cut these down because they're annoying me. We don't need them. Got a big farm here, so that's fine. And then we're going to work our way through here. I think a lot of that can be farmed soon as well. But yeah. I've got plans for the next playthrough. Depending on what the update will be when the, the, the new game when it releases for consoles, but I'm thinking some kind of big family run, you know. But I might do another play of the shop. I don't know. If they iron it out a little bit more, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Now, with this, I might buy in a sixth survivor. I might do. We'll see. We will see. All right, they're all going to bed, but I'm just checking out happiness here. Everything is looking fine and dandy on that front as well, so I am quite happy. I'm going to then now tell these guys i'm pretty sure we took off the food on these guys didn't we yeah i think i want to get rid of the um the other items off this as well you know we don't want galacta coins on anything because that's what we've got those for and i think stuff like these guys i might put in the freezer i know just for just for like the sake of what's it called realism but what we'll do is tick the other items. We'll take these guys off here, and then we'll copy that one onto there as well. I know you said we could have uh, we could have put in another rack here. Yes, we could have stuck it along there, but ah, 
Ah, that's fine. There we go. We have the pulse rifle. So let's give that to... <laughs> I kind of not going to use him to fight. There's just no point. Uh, we can. We can give him the we can give him the moldy one, right? We can give him the moldy pulse rifle. It might take him an hour to come get it. Uh, and there we go. If someone could kindly grab the coins out. How much do the safes hold? I think they hold a huge amount anyway. But yeah, we can... Uh, I think we just got to wait for... Ah, now we got to wait for that to go before we can do anything else. So I'm going to go... Galactic Trade League's ship. What's one of those? The Galactic Trade League is this for a single purpose, to sell high-end goods to the outer worlds and to supply the inner worlds with raw materials. Prohibited to trade in weapons and armor, but will trade large quantities of electronic components, carbon nanotubes, and recreational items. Okie doke. We will keep that in mind. But yeah, we've got to... Now this is done, then. We can, we can move this across. So what are we doing here? We want to deconstruct that one. I'm trying to figure out what I was doing. Oh yeah, that was it. We were just moving them up. So we're going to get in, I think, one more flamethrower on each section here. That was the plan. And then our defenses are pretty much done. That's all we're going to go with. And then it'll be turrets. I'd already done them. They're here. Forgot about that. Sorry, it's been a couple of days. There we go. They're right here. Ignore me. We have them right here. There we go. But yeah, guys, how are you liking it? You, you appreciating the update they've just brought out on this as well? I think it's good. It, was, it felt like it was a little bit easier. I, I know people saying they were just spamming cloth and buying the planet pretty quickly. So I think it's ideal that we, we do have something else here. How are you doing, Sora? The salvage right there. It's the last salvage on that one, actually, which is good. But yeah, we are now into our second winter as well. So we keep that in mind. I think we're okay food-wise, though. We have 760 syrup and some dried meat here. A little bit of grain to see us through. And some chew root. That's fine. How's that research doing? Yep, not bad. We're going down this route afterwards as well, and then we'll be fine. Uh, Self-destruct alert. We probably will go on that, actually. The, they're going to be one of the only ones we do go on. And the reason for that is... Oh, it's a short one as well. Is that you do actually get yourself some breakthrough researches on those as well. But yeah, if you have been watching my Surviving the Aftermath as well, I do appreciate you. Um, that game, obviously been kind of hard to get off the ground so i do appreciate if you are giving that little extra and uh, just dropping a little watch on the background of that one it is massively appreciated and i do want to go through some more of the paradox games like surviving mars we've said and uh not paradox but i want to do timberborn as well all right up they get saw as well first one up at 5 a.m she's having a little play of the darts right there what have we got there what are you doing i wish you would just hurry up and un load i know this is can you haul from these now what's this store undesired items get her to grab this you know what i mean how do i get her to move the meat here can anyone do that hmm i don't think they will they just need them to do the handling don't we so let's change that then get them all on deliver right now so i'm going to push them all to empty this out and get it in the freezer here because we need that food Get them all handling everything, moving it. I think that's the right one, isn't it? Deliver. Transporting, yep. So they should move all this stuff over. Yep, there we go. Lovely stuff. Over it goes into the freezer right here. And the stuff that's outside. So that was actually a good idea. And when this goes, we'll call another trait. the hell? Oh. What are you doing? This one is a big mantises out here. Uh, you're not getting in anyway, so that's fine. You carry on. Uh, maybe you are. Look at that, he's just outside of it. That's so annoying. Let's get her to hunt that. Oh no, it's dead anyway, so you're fine. Oh, that was a hungry pest. That looked huge. I've just left them to kind of do their thing, by the way. I don't mind the meeting out here. And there's a self-destruct alert. Oh my goodness, here we go. This is why I go on these. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, but graphene solar cells. We're doing that one anyway, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, strange looking solar panels. Graphene solar cells might not be a bad shell, but I do think the fuel fermentation is a good one. So we can start actually using that bug meat. Yeah, we'll take that. I can't not. It's kind of one of those really, isn't it? And it's something we can obviously sell as well. So we'll get that one queued up too. 
And we've obviously already got the barrels down, so... Yeah, let's do it. Uh, and what that also does mean... Yeah, you carry on. We can queue up the turrets afterwards as well. So that's good. Right, what have we got going on? Another one coming to attack, is it? Yeah, it's over here. It's probably just going to get himself chewed up, no problem at all. I think I need to build my usual box around these as well. Actually, no, we just need to deconstruct these guys, I think. And it does look like Sora might need to be drafted here and just deal with this. A little bit annoying. And she misses. Of course she does. Not quite sure why that's not shooting her with the fire, but that's all right. That's all right. How are we all doing, guys? How's the empty and deconstruct going? Not the best, is it? I'm going to change them to two now, just in case. I don't want them uh, kind of overworking here. And Sora, I catch a two there as well. Transporting all this stuff that we hacked out down here as well that we'd kind of used to build metal, but that's okay. Now, with the amount of nanotubes we do have, we could do carbon armor if we find the research, actually. Might not be a bad idea. How are we doing? How's that doing? 48%. Not bad. So we'll fly through it a few. I think one of... Oh, not what we want here. What are we working on, actually? Trousers. Okay, we've got some serious unhappiness here, but Xander's one of them. Sora, what's the problem? You'll be alright. You'll be alright. Uh, you're not going to do that, actually. I don't... Oh, it's out there. It might not be the best job for you, mate. Always holding his hip as well. Oh, if only we'd... Uh, We'd realized when you said, actually, I could have sent him on that first mission, get his intelligence up to 10. It would have fixed this as well. That's okay, though. Go on, mate. <laughs> oh. All right, it's all go here. All four in the morning. How are we doing? We don't have any meals left now, so you might need to work on doing a bit of cooking there. Let's change Emmelyn from the deliver there. Maybe. Yeah, let's go back cooking here. And we have a battleship that's decided it wants to trade out of nowhere. They got 118k as well. And look at this. Oh, come on to me then. Give me your money. Literally taking all their money through wine. <laughs> um, they got some pikes, some boots. This is kind of cool that you can buy other stuff from them. But I don't think we need anything else really. I can sell a couple of antibiotics as well. We'll take all 118k from them. To be honest, that's pretty nuts, isn't it? We are gonna, obviously going to be out after this, so it's not going to be as good as this every single time. But that's all right. I might knock down the trade goods as well, because it just takes a lot of time. Yeah, let's do that. Let's knock off all the trade goods, because personally, I don't think it's a good idea. We'll get rid of the liquid fuel shortly as well. Yeah, we'll get rid of that, because we're going to have fuel fermentation at some point. Anyway, I think they've already restocked this as well, and we've got 71 in stock, so we should be all right. Emmeline's loading the pod here. She's got lots of wine to do. I'll clear off all our shelves here, but she's grabbing most of it in one go anyway. Ah, oh, Vicente. Well done, mate. You are useful, see? No, no, no. You're not transporting that. Can you find something else to do? All right, let's get him off that. Because that's just going to take him way too long here. Uh, what can we get him doing? Can he craft anything? He can't. What about that? Get him to like refuel some. I don't know. I don't want him touching that. You can get butchers of the small mantis. Yeah, that's fine. Jeez, bless him. Right, off it goes then our trade ship anyway. So we'll take that. Because we bought in the fuel, didn't we? It was a smart choice, I think. And now, we, as you mentioned on that transport, we're going to hopefully, Sora will grab most of this and get it in where we need it. So we can... Oh, she got no trousers on. <laughs> they are meant to be coming, my friend. Don't you worry. The trousers are coming. Who's meant to be crafting? Who's tailoring? Xander. I sent him away, didn't I? Sorry, Xander. Now he's sleeping as well. Vicente with a meltdown potentially as well. He's getting the coin, though. I think I want you to play darts, mate, because you're not happy, are you? Moderate pain. You have a cup of tea, maybe? Yeah, let's queue him up to drink a tea after as well. Just try and get his happiness up. Uh, another debris over there as well, which is ideal. So we've got two over here. We're going to need them eventually, so it is good that they do come down as well. How are we doing, Emily? Some more porridge on the go? We've got to still get through this winter, but I think we're fine. We've got the syrups. We've got 50 bush fruit, worst case as well. They can eat that. 
and everything else I don't think we need to worry about. Look at this, 359k. Absolutely smashing it. And I might chop down some more trees when the sun comes around as well. I think we're pretty set. Pretty set in our, set in our ways right here as well, so it's good. Look at him go. You alright, mate? Yeah. Good job. Right, Xander's back on the tailoring as well. We might finally get these trousers. Sora, have you got trousers on yet? And there he goes. He's finished it. Welcome back to the world, Vicente. Go and get yourself some veggie soup, eh? It's going to be so far away for him to walk just to get a meal. <laughs> That's quite funny. I think I'll move the table into here, maybe. I might get rid of this wall as well. What do we think? Yeah, I think so. That's kind of hindering so much here. We'll just completely get rid of this wall. It lets me. Come on. Samantha's almost finished that research as well, which is great. Yeah, we'll get rid of all that. We'll open this out into one room here. I think that'll work. Should work. Should be fine, right? I don't know how it works. Yeah, that's okay. And then we'll move this one over. So let's, uh, let's get these side by side. We'll move the, uh, what's it called? The musical instruments. Maybe over here. The old didgeridoo. Pop the didgeridoo there. And then we're good. I do want to move that out at some point as well. I might build a little room soon. for, And we'll test out the hydroponics. I don't know how it works. So we could find some kind of... Um, I do want to keep the expeditions, actually. I might just wait till the security stuff comes down on that as well. How are we doing? So we are 81% of battery optimization, which is good. So that'll be like having six batteries. We'll get those charged up as well. And I will start building some when I can. I might just buy in electronics. Seems like we will be able to get someone to come and do that soon anyway. So that's really good. I done saw it. Once this is done, you don't have to do it again, you know. So it's going to be ideal. All right. Emmeline's got on top of this cooking as well, which is good. The cooking is kind of keeping us really good on this. Happiness is looking okay across the board. Sora not the happiest, but she is on her way back. So that is fine. How's everything looking? We are low on food, but that will go back up soon. I think a lot of this will be done. <sighs> Too cold for sowing, so we can't actually plant just yet. That's okay. Look at this. That's weird. One just came up ready. One little beef berry on there, look. And then we've just got a new insect nest. They're all so far away. Like, there's never going to be a way to go out and get these. That one, I guess, might be doable. But they need to find a way where you can physically go across the map on land. This is what I need, though. I need to observe one of these. So is that our closest one? Let's see if we can find another glitter cap nearby. Because that might be ideal if we can. Right here, look, there's a glitter cap. little bunch here. So I'm going to set this to be observed. We will get a little farm down of that, I think. They're closer. Oh, this is closer. This one's way closer, actually. And might be safer. Let's pause it a second. Let's go this one. Get rid of that. I think it does automatically, actually. Perfect. There we go. So they should come out and observe that one in a moment as well. That's going to come in really handy. How's everything else looking? So, let's look across these. I think we're okay on the oil front and that as well. Everything else is good. Oil. Yeah, we're pretty good. That's fine. As soon as we hit the spring again, we'll be able to smash through everything else, won't we? These guys transporting. There is no way you're going all that way to transport 20 carbon nanotubes. Come on. Taking them days to get this. A lot of stuff out here that we could have got early on as well that we missed. Absolutely fine. There is some mushrooms here as well, so we could have grabbed those, but whatever. Emmeline's already gone, so we'll leave her doing that. And there it is. The battery optimization has been completed. So these are now at 2,000, and our meat's about to rot away. Did someone move it yet? Where did they move it to? The meat's not... Oh, it's there. Why did you move... Oh, my goodness. Am I... I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. We unticked that stuff. We didn't even untick the food. Oh, no. Okay. Well, lesson learned. Electric smelting's flying through. That's awesome. Probably won't be using that just yet, but I do want to get it researched. That's fine. Look at all these nanotubes, though. Beautiful stuff. This could be a moneymaker, you know. 
I think I want to get a proper room for the uh, storage of these things eventually as well. So that might come across here. I say might. I think it will. I just don't have the resources just yet. I think we're going to go down. Once the concrete rooms are done, we'll, we'll then go with a, a concrete room for just that. We'll start smelting that up. That's why we got the electrical smelters. I think we can queue up the turrets as well soon. But I am going to get a full back of diesel generators at some point for our electric setup as well. And there it is. Well done. How far along are we on the uh, the bright mushrooms here, my friend? All right, so we have the electrical furnaces. That is great. I'm going to actually quickly look. So this farming, let's have a quick look at this. So it costs metal alloys, consumes one per hydroponic rack. Now, do these need to be in a room? I might try and make a little hydroponic room. Now, this is pointless. I know that needs to move. <laughs> let's get that one moved. A little frosty wardrobe there. That's fine. I'll tell you what, let's move the move that seat there or something. And I should be able to move the other one in. No need to huff, right? And what I'm, what I'm going to do is we... Oh, you know what? Because we've got the carbon, it does level it up pretty well. I'm going to uh, go ahead and build a little hydroponic room. Now I'm trying to think how we're going to do this. So, food's over there. Farms are over here. Maybe here? Maybe? I want to be able to walk into it, and I don't want to block his door, so... We could always extend this, if need be. I just want to test it out. So, I'm thinking this. I'm not going to have a metal door. What I am going to do is have a, a wooden door right here. And we are going to get down some hydroponic racks. So let's try this out. I don't think you can do much with them. Do it this way. Uh, that's not the most optimal. Go like this. And then hydroponic racks like that. Let's test it out. A little hydroponic room. We can expand it if needed as well. Uh, Vicente, how are you doing? Oh my, what are you doing? can't have you observing, my friend. I'm really sorry, but you're just... Yeah. Come and drink some beer or something, you know? Let's, uh... Come and drink some ale, mate. It's your favourite pastime, yeah? Taking you half a day to get out there, you know? Oh, should just let him have a meltdown. These types of things i got to keep on top of. There we go, though. She's flying through the concrete rooms, which is really, really good. Now, I just want to check in on the power... So we've got 220 when they're all on, which is great. We do have the batteries, and it's just these two going. So we could potentially get the electric smelters on the go. I think that's a good idea. I'm going to deconstruct those to make room. And I'm also going to bin off the uh, campfire right n n No. Let's go. Actually, we'll keep that fire, but we'll move it. It's really not an ideal place. Um, I think the fire should go somewhere in here. It looks kind of nice, doesn't it? And then we can roof that over if we want as well. And what I'm going to do is set up a little smelting section just here, I think. So with that, we can do... What have we just unlocked here? Quite a few things. So we got our concrete done. So production, electric furnace. Shall we do it along here? I think so. We'll have three... And then they should all be powered by this and the batteries anyway. And then we'll work up on this as well. And what that does mean is we'll be able to grab in our concrete fortifications, I believe, at some point. Is that in here? All right, they're just getting up here. We're looking pretty good, though. Xander's straight at this. I love Xander, man. He's still, honestly, him and Lara, my favorite characters. All right, what we're going to do is we are going to change this to a bake. So we're going to start doing some concrete in these bad boys. We don't need any metal. Oh, we do need a little bit of metal, actually, don't we? I'll do I'll do two concrete, one one metal, I think. Should be fine. So they consume a 30, though. So we, that's 90 on our circuit. That should be okay with the batteries. And we'll probably get some solar power at some point. Not right now, because we don't have any electronics. So we won't, won't be worrying about that just yet. We will be going down the generator route, though, soon. That's two days of electronics crafting, though. All right. I was not... I was paused up there, which is a problem. Sorry, you... You, oh, that, you know what? I have no fuel in here because I've got it set to refuel, which we can do now. So, what are we going to do here? Terran Defense Fleets? I want to see this 
Galactic Trade League. If we can get some electronics, I'll be really happy. I will buy from them. That's the plan. We've got plenty of, plenty of coin. I don't plan on buying straight away at the thingy, so we're going to be hovering up and down a little bit. That, we know wine's a good money earner still, but the ships just don't have the money to uh, deal with it. So that's fine. One and saw it. How's your stats doing? We're pretty good here. Construction's almost level 5, actually, so that'll be ideal. Then they'll go and build our little hydroponics room as well. So what I'm going to do then is leave one at this, and we're going to go until... Uh, we don't have that much, so we're going to go to 150, and then we're going to cancel that one, and we're going to go concrete forever in that one as well. Perfect. And then hopefully we'll get some clothing done soon. Limit reached... Uh, has everyone got clothing on? So far, so good. I think we're okay. What do we need here? It might be worth knocking up some more jackets. So, we'll get rid of that. Let's get a jacket two times. I think we've got stuff. Not really. Um, so, we'll queue them up ready anyway then. Vicente. Good job, mate. Oh, we need to change this now, don't we? I think they'll be fine on two there. He's doing a good job. Well done, mate. We're going to need those for the hydroponic racks, aren't we? So, And there we have it. We have an attack, so we'll deal with this one when it comes. They are only the small ones, aren't they? Spike tail insects. Are they the shooters, actually? They are. They're the shooters. That's okay. Unpowered device hydroponic rack. All right, how does this work, then? So we want to plant change crop. So we can have these inside. What do we want to do here? So we don't really have much going, but this is kind of cool. You don't get a lot of space on it, so... Hmm. We don't have the best food here. I'm just going to test. I'll do a little bit different. It's one per there. It's very expensive. All right, let's get a power pole over. We'll get a wooden power pole to here. So we want that one there. That does reach, so that's just fine. And we've got a nice little walkway for our little builders. This will get extended, then. We'll probably put full farms in there as well. What I wanted to do was the expensive items when we can get it. If we can find some research from this trade ship when it comes, that'd be ideal. But yeah, these guys are the shooters, so not ideal. I'm going to draft her now, actually. I'm going to start popping at some of these. I think it's a good idea. I could probably take some out. And they're attacking anyway. Let's deal with that. Good job. She might even kill these before they even get a chance, if she doesn't miss. That's it, keep coming back. Get them all bleeding here. Nice and easy. Bit of bleed on everything. She's pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie. Get inside. I did not say stop. Now you can. Here you go. Don't miss. I'll probably do this all with her, actually, then. What are you doing? Thank you. They're still bugged, this moving thing, after you've told them. There you go. Yep, she's going to deal with all these just fine, I think. We'll leave that happening. I don't think anyone else needs drafting. We'll let them carry on. They're all going to come for her, aren't they? So let's deal with that before they shoot. Make that one bleed as well. Kill that. There you go. That's the only one shooting, I think. And that one. The other one's dead. And undraft. Perfect. There we go. Oh, scavenged six. Yes, I might get a little um, little solar power farm going now then. Now we can. I'll probably go with... Let's go this way. One, two, three for now. I think that's okay. But guys, that's going to be where we end this one out. So as always, if you have enjoyed, please do smash that thumbs up for me. If you are new around here, consider subbing as well. And as always, appreciate you for helping me out on this journey. Take it easy, guys. Catch you in the next one.